A and B started the business with the investment of 4200 and 4800 respectively. After three years, the person C joined in the, invest, in the business with the investment of 4000. At the end of the 12 years, the total profit of the business is 7200. Find the profit of B. So when just see here, initially the two person investment has been given 4200 and 4800 and the person C joined the business only after three years. The total business was run for 12 years. Out of 12 years, the first three years, the person C was not in the business. So 12 minus 3 will be 9 years. The person C will be in the business only for 9 years. What about A and B? A and B will be in the business for the complete 12 years. So A's investment is how much? 4,200. And E will be in the business for the 12 years. B investment is how much? 4,800. E is also in the business for 12 years. What about C? So C investment is 4,000, but the person C was not there in the business for the first three years. That means he will be in the business for the nine years. So now cancel two zero. So two zero, two zero here. So be slow on canceling the values. We can cancel it on two table or three table. So when you cancel this on three table, four threes are 12. Cancel this on three table, three threes are nine. Again, four threes are 12. So now we can cancel four, four. This becomes 10 times. And check whether we can cancel it on three table. One threes are three. So one threes are three. Six threes are eighteen. One threes are three. Four threes are twelve. Still we can cancel it on two table. Seven twos are fourteen. Eight twos are sixteen. Five twos are ten. So finally the ratio will be seven is to eight is to five is their ratio of investment. So now according to the question our target is to find what is the profit of B. So B investment is eight. Total profit is twenty. And the total profit amount is 7200. So once you cancel it, so this becomes four times. So 2880 will be the total profit of the person B.